everyone. Welcome to the Full Moon in Aquarius reading. I am doing the reading today. Tomorrow I'm going to be a little bit out of commission. I have a uh, small procedure that I'm going to do tomorrow and I don't know how I'm going to feel afterwards. So kind of just wanted to get this uh, done today. Um, I did get some channel messages and, and downloads regarding this full moon. Um, I'm in Aquarius myself. So um, if you guys are returning to the channel, welcome back. If you guys are new, welcome to the family. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help the channel to grow, our community to grow, but also to connect with my energy. And it helps everyone else um, that needs to hear the message to receive it as well. So full moon in Aquarius. There's going to be two full moons in Aquarius. One is this month. The next one is uh, next month, which means uh, blue moon energy, right? So every full moon, I, I posted this on Instagram, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'm just going to go ahead and, and um, tell you the channel message that I received that I already talked about on Instagram. Every full moon is when the moon is the brightest in the sky and something is being illuminated. Something is being lit up that you are meant to follow and trust. It's an emotional, intens it's an emotional intensity. Something is coming up that you feel strongly passionate about. Something is changing in your emotional consciousness. If you are highly intuitive and strongly in tune and connected to the moon, this will be very clear to you. Every full moon, I personally get huge realizations, epiphanies, aha moments, and breakthroughs. If you are extremely cosmically conscious, connected, and plugged in, you are also receiving these messages. Another cycle, another truth is being revealed. This full moon in Aquarius is illuminating your true authentic self. Show the world the real you, right? Um, your individuality and authenticity. How are you holding yourself back by pretending and remaining in denial regarding your heart's truest intentions and desires? It's also highlight highlighting how attached you have been to your comfort zone, old ways and patterns. How are you not listening to your intuition guiding you to break free? This energy is also illuminating your fears. It's also helping you to detach from the outcome of, your manif of when your manifestations will come in. There is a restlessness and an agitation in the collective. It's because it's time to break free from the, st from the status quo and of what people will think that is holding you back from living your truth, speaking your truth, being in your truth, being in your individuality. That's what your intuition is guiding you to do. Restlessness will continue until you do. It's uncomfortable staying where you are. The old cycle has reached its expiration date. There's a desire for more that is so intense it feels like you're about to burst. You're ready for change and if you feel and you feel it everywhere. It's undeniable. Answer the call of your soul. You're discovering that the, you're discovering this full moon that you are holding yourself back with unwarranted fears. Take your energy back and take charge of your reality. This is a channel message that I got from spirit today. So so many downloads. My intuition is just really you know it's stronger during the full moon. All of our intuition is really strong during the full moon. But it's very important that you ground your energy as well. Today, I spent um, some time doing uh, soul retrieval work. And oh my God, I can't even begin to tell you guys how good I feel. Feeling a lot lighter. <laughs> I did um, a few of those. And then there's one just hit the nail on the head. I will post it in the community board, this specific meditation that I'm talking about. the shamanic one. And it is... I feel like something huge was lifted from me after I did this meditation. So I want to just go ahead and get started and see what this full, what what spirit has to say. What got what is our guidance for this full moon to help us to navigate it, right? And see what spirit has for us. Um, what's coming in? What is this full moon bringing in? And what do we need to know? Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and tap into the energy, and then we will get started.
Thank you, Spirit. All right, Spirit. What is the energy here for the collective for the full moon in Aquarius, Spirit? Please. Show me the overall energy here. What is this theme here that the collective is in? The energy for the collective for the full moon in Aquarius. The full moon in Aquarius. It's time to release negativity. Scorpio energy. Pluto is playing a big part in this. I'm not an astrologer, but I've been listening to a lot of astrology. Um, there's Something is not set in stone yet. There's a lot of changes. Um, I know that um, we're approaching the Lionsgate portal. What else do I know about what's going on in the cosmos? Um, Mercury is in Cancer right now. So what else? Uh, I'm feeling that there's a lot of friction and a lot of, uh, you know, lack of groundedness and balance in the collective, okay? I, that's why I had to spend so much time in meditation today to try to come back to center myself so that I can deliver the messages and clear my energy out, okay? A personal issue reaches resolution. That wanted to fall out of the deck. So it's definitely something is coming to light here. Something's getting ready to be resolved surrounding your home and family, okay? What is going on here for the collective spirit, for the full moon in Aquarius? Message for the collective, for the full moon in Aquarius. Wow. Believe in the impossible and it is time to take that. Didn't I say that this is a blue moon energy that we're in because we're going to have two full moons in Aquarius back to back this month and again next month. And that is blue moon energy and that's exactly what I said in the intro. So believe in the impossible, right? Um, what does that mean exactly? That, that thing, you know, that you said, this only happens once in the blue moon, right? Um, I get the feeling that there's a lot of people starting to lose faith and hope regarding their manifestations, taking too long, right? It's requiring action, um, that's why. But also, we're in the process of still clearing a lot of karma at this time. <laughs> I've been getting that message a lot, and the faith card is jumping nonstop. So... Faith is needed, okay? Again, with the you and your loved ones are safe. So there's something unexpected that's happening. What you thought was impossible, what you felt was impossible, what you waited for for so long and you're like, this isn't going to happen ever, right? That's that negative, those negative thoughts that we saw in the Scorpio energy. Um, that right there is uh, false <laughs> because whatever it is that you prayed for that you manifested right it's coming in but the thing is you're needing to let go of the attachment of the, of it of the outcome you need to surrender completely to it right and um we're all in different you know timelines here right and cycles even there's some people that are just now closing out there's clients of mine that i've done reading for that are going through situations right now that i went through three years ago some going through right now what i went through nine years ago right so but we're still connected. We're still experiencing the same things, the same changes coming out of one cycle and getting ready to go into the next one. But we're doing it at different times, okay? It really depends on your level of detachment of, of your circumstances and surrendering, okay? And acceptance of what is without trying to micromanage and control the universe. So whatever it is that you thought was not possible, the blue moon energy. So between now and the next full moon, which is next month, um, it's going to be possible, okay? And Aries energy here, Mars energy, action is required. It's time to take action. It's time to take action. And I believe that it's going to be revealed to you what this is, okay? Um, through your intuition, depending on how much quiet time you spend, how much time you spend in silence um, and feminine energy, high priestess energy of receiving so you can receive the integration the transmission and the downloads all right spirit what else do you have for the collective here for the full moon and aquarius message for the collective for the full moon and aquarius message for the collective for the full moon and aquarius Clarity, understanding, healing, and insight, the best and highest good for the collective, for the full moon in Aquarius. Yeah, we really got to work on um, 
an, a good balance here, okay? A tuning to the moon and a line and aligning, okay? There's a lot of resistance in the energy, like I said, a lot of restlessness, a lot of agitation, right? I feel like you're being called and pulled towards something here, but there's too much energy of thinking about the past um, that's creating a lot of anxiety. Uh, I'm sorry, depression. Too much energy. Too much focus on the future which is creating a lot of anxiety and, and, and not so much focused on the present moment, okay? And this is an energy of trying to make something happen. This is also about standing up for your truth or what you believe, rebelling a little bit energy, right? Which is Aquarius energy of standing up for what you believe in. There's a fine line with this energy here of, you know, knowing when, you know, can't Mercury in cancer is very good as far as speaking from the heart but be careful for not being so emotionally charged where you're being very defensive right and um i feel like this is also might be an energy of of trying too hard fighting too hard for what you want and um and the reason why there's some restlessness some stress is because it's not coming and that's because you are doing the most for it right overly manifesting overly trying to control which be becomes it becomes resistance energy okay also i'm getting from this energy is to work on protecting your energy right now at this time um try try to avoid um anything in your environment people places things that can um drain you of your life force energy observe don't absorb right um but there's definitely a situation here. There's, like I said, I feel some a little bit of friction in the energy, a little bit of um, breathe. <laughs> Spirit said breathe. <laughs> Hop into meditation, do a grounding meditation, um, you know, and bring yourself back to center. Do a surrender and let go meditation. Those are really helpful for me whenever I'm feeling a little bit of uh, heaviness um, in the collective, okay? I'm feeling, like I said, incredible right now. Thank God for those meditations because I, I didn't wake up feeling like this. I woke up feeling very, what's the word? A little drained. A little drained. Yeah, you're about to get everything that you want, okay? So it's really important to detach yourself from the outcome at this time. It may be hard to do because emotions are running really high and air energy, air signs tend to, you know, uh, process your emotions through nine of, through swords energy, through the mental, right, mental plane here. Message for the collective for the full moon and Aquarius spirit, please. What does the collective need to know? Wow. <laughs> wow, look at that. We are definitely coming out of cancer season and hopping into Leo season here, right? It's like, <laughs> let me hop onto my chariot here and cross the threshold, cross the line from one, one cycle, one season, one state of being, one way of doing something to the next, right? Look what happens when you are in alignment with the universe, right? This is cancer and this is Leo. <laughs> so you are going to overcome any kind of obstacles, right? Any kind of mountains are getting ready to move, okay? There is going to be movement after a period of feeling stuck. And that's why there's this restlessness also, right? We've been waiting a long time for change and change is here. We got two, three major arcanas back to back to back to back here, okay? So which means this is the universe moving us forward finally right coming out of a period of stagnation and feeling stuck and stalemate and um waiting even right to finally a lightness um the sun is out a period of happiness so leo energy here also masculine energy of action as well this is balanced out the yin and the yang this is what taking control and taking charge of your life looks like right so um beautiful <laughs> this is this action energy that it's time to take action aries energy you know fire solar plexus energy masculine energy it's go time it's go time so um how synchronistic is this we are in the process um the full moon is going to be um the full moon in aquarius is going to be is going to be in leo right so we are coming out of this period of this heaviness this weighted down energy of emotions which was necessary for us to go within 
and heal and transmute and integrate and you know inner child healing work co connecting with our emotions and our feelings and feeling it to healing and all of that right but um this 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 feeling weighed down energy is passing okay and um there's going to be happiness joy this is recovery energy rising from the ashes is the phoenix inner child healing right um creativity um passion being ignited again this is a very creative passionate beautiful leo energy here that we're coming into and it's basically like i said everything that you've been waiting for working on planting your seeds here right during cancer season or even before is getting ready to manifest for you here okay so this is what happens when you hold a vision when you break free this is breaking free from the from the from the old cycle once and for all right from the patterns from the pains from the traumas the imprint the imprints the programmings the woundings uh, conditioning right this is what happens when you get clear <laughs> with the universe and what you want and what you're not settling for what you're not accepting anymore standing your ground staying you staying true to yourself here right stepping in your truth speaking your truth living your truth what i said earlier in the intro we're not settling we're not um you know, this is rebelling, rebelling energy, right? Breaking free, taking charge, taking control, rising here after a, a cycle of a lot of pain and survival mode. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Good for you guys. Okay, spirit, what else here for the collective? For the full moon in Aquarius energy. Three of Swords. So definitely feeling it to heal it, that's for sure. Doing the work here, right? There is this uh, temptation energy. You will be tempted, okay? There could be even some jealousy because you're doing so well, right? With this uh, devil energy here. Because you're doing so well financially here. You, you're not paying attention to, to certain energies that are... Um, you, ha you have your head down. You're keeping your eyes on the prize here. Well, that's the, 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 the guidance and the advice. To stay focused here, okay? Stay focused on what it is that you're creating, right? And um, keep your back turned to anything that's going to not serve your highest good, right? This could be very the ego, pride, the energy of temptation, of lust, addiction, attachments, you know, uh, energy here, okay? So the shadow, right? Um, I feel like this is doing the work of integrating your shadow and your light, right? Um, with the three of swords, the three of swords is basically everything that's been, that we've been working on healing this whole time, right? That's coming up to the surface. And I'm seeing the three of swords a little bit different than I used to. For me right now, the three of swords is a card of healing. Okay. It's, and, and. Yeah, like I always say, you got to feel it to heal it, right? We're not distracting ourselves with anything here that to so we don't feel the pain, right? So a lot of people um, that don't want to do the meditation and sit with the pain and sit with the emotions um, tends to do things like play a shit ton of video games 24-7, you know, drink alcohol, smoke weed, uh, all day, all night, you know, take pop pills, have sex, serial dating, one person to the next so that they don't, to distract themselves. And that's how you, you lose your soul. That's why you, that's how you, you know, you, you feel like you have, you always feel like you have something missing and you're always getting triggered and you're always attracting in the same type of, the same type of situations here, right? It's like you can't break free from this, uh, the shadow this that, that keeps following you from you know uh one situation from the next this is finally feeling it to heal it right this is looking at your pain sitting with your emotions sitting with your pain and and becoming clear and healing it the sun is about recovery right so it's very very um interesting energy to show up right after the sun here so i want to actually clarify it and see what this is about here but i feel like the full moon is bringing up is illuminating something that hurt us that we may have avoided in the past brushed under the rug detached ourselves from right the full moon energy you know is illuminating something that's in the subconscious that we have may have missed rejected denied 
not looked at okay so something is definitely could be some kind of inner child wounding something is definitely coming up to the surface here especially if you're doing the the cord cutting karma clearing and breaking free work okay there is you're going to have uh, ups and downs you're going to feel tired one day not feel tired the next day you're going to have days that you're going to feel light and good and days that you're going to feel down and depressed that's because you are releasing 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 this is what taking charge so to, this is what moving towards your happiness really means we're not putting band-aids. We're actually going into the heart chakra through the meditation, prayer, calling Archangel Raphael and the healing work, and we're becoming whole again, right? Healing it completely. That's going to require a lot of crying, a lot of sitting with yourself, a lot of forgiveness of self and others type of work, okay? There's a meditation for everything that I'm talking about here. There's forgiveness meditations, there's self-acceptance, self-worth meditation, accept and love yourself meditation, um, um, mother healing, father healing work, okay? There's a lot of things that's coming up to the surface right now. The emotions are running really high. Spirit, what can you tell me about this three of swords? Before we, we jump ahead, before we move, move forward here, I want to know what this chariot here is about for the collective for the full moon in Aquarius. Okay, so there's someone that wants to come in and apologize, probably. There's an offer. Now, somebody's taking control, taking charge, taking action. Probably this situation that you thought was impossible, someone wants to make amends, or you want to make amends, okay? This could be a family, a friend, long lost, somebody that you you know may not have heard from in a while, perhaps, right? Not for everyone. Um but this is the beginning of some, somebody's taking charge, taking action, balance, coming in balanced out, probably a traveling towards you. Somebody that might be at a distance. There's definitely a change coming in here. The wheel of fortune, the four fixed signs, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius energy here. The wheel, Jupiter is getting ready to go back into Aquarius. Um, there's so much going on in the cosmos that I can, I, I should have wrote it down, um, but I didn't write it down. I figured that, um, you guys are probably getting the same information from everywhere else as well, right? Um, and since I'm not an astrologer, I just kind of just wanted to talk about what I what I do know about. Um, I am interested in studying astrology just because I'm I'm a nerd and I like to <laughs> I like to learn new things, right? And I like to uh, to have the knowledge and the information here because everything is connected. But anyway. Um, the Wheel of Fortune means there's a major change as a turning point that's coming in. This is that believe in the impossible energy we're talking about here, okay? And this major change is very fortunate. It's good luck. It's good fortune. Could be um, a time where there's going to be a windfall of money, opportunities, blessings, gifts coming from your creator, from the divine, doors opening up for you as well. This could be a new job, um, you know, leaving one career that you've been in for a while stepping into a new one this could be um you know could be possibly uh the divine is removing things from your life like your old car your old house your old relationship to bring in something that's destined and fated for you this is a very big energy of destiny and fate and i feel like a lot of you guys can feel this change and that's why some people are a little bit stressed a little bit anxious okay but it is something that you manifest that you pray for it is a wish that's coming in yeah somebody is coming in with an offer of love for a lot of you guys so movement in this direction right or you may be finally stepping out putting yourself out there again offering your love to someone right offering your love to the collective exchanging gifts even okay um being a little bit more vulnerable okay i feel like whatever happened here with the three of swords definitely cracked you wide open cracked your heart wide open here and um vulnerability which i got from one of the decks here the other day um what was it freedom and vulnerability or vulnerability and freedom vulnerability leads to freedom ultimate freedom here okay so um 
the second that this action is taken and this this the step is, is taken the universe is going we saw the wheel of fortune now is the world card the universe is going to move things around for you it's like you take that first step and the universe is going to support you the universe is going to match you the universe is going to put the net out and catch you okay you're heavily this step here that's been needing to take for quite some time is um is heavily guided by the universe by spirit by the divine and heavily protected okay and support it it's like you go first the universe is waiting for you i will i will match your efforts tenfold right if somebody if somebody has been wanting to come in here to communicate or make some kind of an offer um and they're in the negative thinking energy of no way this is this is impossible there's no way that this person will ever accept my apology there's no way that this person is ever going to you know take me back there's no way i'll be forgiven for whatever happened here there's no way right well spirit is saying it's time that you start believing in all the things that you thought was impossible at this time it is time the the old cycle has definitely reached an expiration date here right it's time for this to, to, to come into fruition and manifest, okay? Two of Cups. What is the Sun card here, Spirit? For the collective, for the full moon in Aquarius. What is this Sun card for the collective? Yeah, there's going to be something to definitely celebrate here, coming together, right? It's going to make you feel your heart chakra is going <laughs> to beat so fast with so much love so definitely there's a new beginning here when it comes to love okay and here's wow here's the aquarius this is at the bottom of the deck i just now know look at the aquarius excuse me spirit look at the aqu okay <laughs> i'm sorry i can't even get a handle of the cards look at the aquarius full moon here i can't make this up if i tried something is being illuminated for you in your heart chakra what does your heart truly desires right it's time to awaken to your passion what's been hidden here is going to be revealed and it has something to do with love right it has something to do with choosing love unconditional love what will love do see only love and bring love into the situation right unity consciousness it's unconditional love she is a healer she's in you're feeling everything right now this is like hidden emotions coming to the surface even okay so um whatever this is it's going to make you very happy it's a celebration of coming together union energy here okay it's a yes from spirit so if you're asking if you had a question coming into this reading the answer is yes the sun always means yes it's the happiest card in the deck right this card trumps the entire reading right other than the fact that the star card which is aquarius energy is here there is a, a hidden there is a a suppressed hidden wish or something that you may, you know, have set intentions for or put out to the universe, but you kept it suppressed beneath the surface in the subconscious, that's coming to fruition. The star card represents healing, complete healing, right? So it represents um, the divine, the cosmos. Um, it also represents... Um, you healing your seven chakras that's what the seven chakra the seven stars represents it's hope it's faith it's destiny right it is positive po thinking positive thoughts being optimistic being hopeful right i felt like as hard as it was for you with this moon energy here um you kept you kept you you stayed graceful you stayed poised you kept the hope alive you walked in faith here right regardless if you couldn't see anything in the physical world yet right you took this time here all of this time that you have been doing this work this whole time up until now if you've been following me um and if you have been with me and if you've been on the you know watching the readings you've been doing the work which i read the comments and i talk to you guys one-on-one -on, -one on instagram right i know that you guys have been doing the work for the most part right most of you guys and especially um my 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 soul family my soul tribe the people that you know i've uh, my clients right the people that i've read for um and i constantly and i continuously read for you guys have been hardcore doing this healing work okay and um and the you're starting to see the results of your hard work and and i feel like this is such a great beautiful energy of peace okay she is the light worker the healer the empath the creative um the um um 
psychic and intuitive, right? You feel it. You feel it on a deep, deep soul level, on an unconscious, subconscious level. You feel it everywhere that there is something that's coming in. So Spirit is saying here, this is feminine energy of being open to receiving two cards. Of, we have the masculine and the feminine now, the sun and the moon, two cards here, right? A feminine energy and complete balance and complete alignment. This is beautiful energy. Um, so there's a lot of healing here, a lot of suppression of emotion that's coming up to the surface as well with the star card. There's definitely a walking away, a leaving behind anything that made you feel confused, and lack of balance it's it's this energy of going back and forth back and forth finally this moon is revealing something to you that's causing you to trust your intuition your intuition is guiding you to leave behind finally leave behind everything that has reached its expiration date that doesn't fulfill you emotionally anymore and start to follow your heart here listen to your heart this is walking towards the nine of cups which we saw the nine of cups a couple of times which is completely in total emotional independence emotional fulfillment right and feeling complete emotionally okay so whoever this is is felt the fire in the belly <laughs> to finally stop doing this going back and forth regarding this decision to leave something behind and it's finally listening to their intuition the staff is spirit the moon here's the full moon going going for it right and it's going to lead to a lot of happiness a lot of happiness this is coming out of the dark coming out of what's hiding here and expressing your truth authenticity from the heart cancer energy i uh, hear I'm, I'm getting that there's going to be communication coming in. there's a lot of water here i'm getting there's going to be communication coming in here okay um and and Spirit just wants you to be open to receiving and speaking from the heart, speaking your truth clearly with kindness and with love, which is mercury and cancer, right? I'm going to leave this here, but there is a deep healing of the heart happening right now. And I feel like the longer it takes for whoever is the one that needs to take action, whether that is taking action and taking control regarding doing the healing work right or which is going to lead to a lot of happiness a lot of joy this is your vibration you are the oracle so your vibration is rising right now okay so choosing the path here of least resistance right choosing the path of least resistance here so whoever is is the one that that has been holding back here from from been resisting what their intuition is guiding them to do resisting taking action this right here is it hurts to not take action is what I'm saying. It, the longer it takes for someone to speak their truth, be vulnerable from the heart, right? Just be themselves here. Doesn't matter how shy that this person, doesn't matter how awkward and how shy and how hard it is. It doesn't matter. Just speak your truth, right? Uh, that's it. Get it off of your chest because holding it in is 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 harder it's harder and it keeps you from moving forward and moving on this has been the message for the longest something is getting ready to be revealed here the full moon and aquarius big energy here so many synchronicities here coming out of cancer season going into leo season right and look what's the driving force here the universe the star card represents the universe, it represents the collective. Aquarius, the humanitarians, represents the collective. Okay, it's a big energy here. We have your Pisces and Cancer as well, right, as Aquarius. So there's a lot of, uh, Cancer is very significant here. So is Leo, which is big, big energy considering where, you know, the, the full moon is going to be Leo season. Is this, are we in Leo? Is this Leo season already? I don't even know what day it is. Is it the 21st? I think we're already in Leo season here. So things are going to start to move, okay? What is this? Um, and whatever whatever person here that left, let's say the three of swords is from, from somebody that left. Somebody that somebody was juggling two people here and somebody abandoned somebody else here that led to this. If it wasn't for this, <laughs> we, wouldn't be, we wouldn't be where we are today, right? Complete and total healing here of traumas woundings i mean i talk about this a lot the growth right the ascension the spiritual awakening okay there was stuff that needed to be healed that went back seven generations back in your family line 
generational curses, okay, traumas and things like that. That was buried deep. The, this whole situation went down here so you can be cracked open so that you can go in and finally take care of this, you know, take charge and take back control of your energy, taking your energy back, right? Soul retrieval work. That's what this is. But I'll clarify it anyways. Three of Swords, Spirit, please, for the collective. What is this for the full moon in Aquarius? This is about to be no more. Yep. Exactly what I said. Exactly what I said. All of this procrastinating energy here of I can't do it, right? All this procrastinate, intimidated energy here of um, getting the signs and synchronicities about going moving taking action right being guided to daydreamy energy of illusion and confusion and procrastination energy here finally the second that someone takes action action needs to be taken for this to stop it's like it's like the healing is going to be for closure the healing is going to continue here okay um after action is taken <laughs> you know somebody needs to clear the air Get something off their chest. Ground the energy here, okay? So communication um, is, is extremely important at this time. Extremely important. And like I said earlier, the second that this communication comes in, what's, what's keeping this like this? So all swordsy, all pain, suffocated, I can't breathe, have chest pains, right? All of this is because of the lack of communication that's what this is and it could and be careful with your communication at this time for it's not so impulsive that you might say something that's gonna hurt people cancer uh, mercury is in cancer right a, a gentle approach will be more beneficial but I feel like there's a lot of guidance here that you're ready and it's time to take action regarding some kind of communication. All you have to do is believe in yourself and go for it, okay? Yeah, take the idea and the dreams out of the clouds and clear the air. You're being extremely guided to do so. Let's see what you need to surrender. All right, spirit. It's go time. <laughs> It is. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything. For the decks that you guys purchased, for the donations, right? For scheduling personal readings with me. For following me on Instagram. For, for chatting me up on DMs and sharing your stories with me. For emailing me. For your comments. For your support. For it all. God bless you guys so much. I love you guys. Spirit wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys i appreciate you more than you know all right spirit last shuffle what does the collective need to surrender here spirit for the full moon and aquarius surrender defensiveness i saw that earlier with the seven of wands and this too right a lot of times when we um have a pain in our heart we can be very defensive. Hurt people hurt people, okay? So um, choose your words here wisely. It's important to do a throat chakra guided meditation as well. There is a balance of the shadow and the light here, the yin and the yang. So if you get triggered, good, right? Um, these triggers are messengers that's letting us know here of what um, still, what you know, where is that unhealed wound, right? Where is that coming from? Um, to alert us that there we still have something going on in the heart that um, that's, has nothing to do with the situation right in front of you. <laughs> that is something that's being triggered from the past. So surrender defensiveness. Like I said, there's a lot of uh, intense, charged up emotions at this time. Um, defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response surrender outdated beliefs about yourself this is a stuff that i'm telling you that has reached its expiration date eight of cups that ass right eight of cups this 
leave this behind once and for all okay let go of any limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past then you can own your power and soar in your life then you can own your power and soar in your life let go of any outdated limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past own your power sun card leo energy also um chariot energy own your power star energy right and soar it's time this couldn't be more synchronistic and surrender to divine timing like i said let go of the attachment to the results at this time we saw the, the wheel of fortune right and the star the stars are aligning Everything is coming together in perfect divine timing here, okay? There's a lot of healing that's taking place, transformation-wise, rebirth energy, rebirth energy, the sun during this full moon um, time. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, Pluto. Pluto, I believe Pluto is still retrograde, okay? And Pluto is very significant right now in the cosmos. You guys should watch some... Um, astrology forecast i don't remember right now what they said about pluto there's too much going on it's a lot of squares and a lot of friction and a lot of stuff like that hard energy right but also very beautiful energy <sighs> surrender to divine timing my loves um sometimes divine timing may different from your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow that's this energy flow this is flow energy she is surrendered she's in the energy of acceptance allowing right she's in the energy of acceptance of allowing of flowing of receive okay very gentle very poised energy here what was i gonna pull next spirit oh yeah i was i wanted to pull from this deck for you guys get you a message here and also one from this deck I haven't used these in a little while and then we'll uh and then that's it let you guys go all right spirit i'm fully booked this week but i when do i have openings next if you guys want to schedule let me see um it's going to be august the first week of august is um so jump in there's a lot of people emailing me and contacting me so it's filling up pretty fast so if you guys want to schedule a personal reading with me we have a really great time okay and it's live it's a video chat, so um, I get to see you guys and talk to you guys and connect with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Be sure to reach out to me. I'll post information to reach out to me in the description box below, and, um, and we'll connect, okay? And we can discuss everything that's going on with you, your healing journey, get some guidance from spirit, and whatnot. All right, spirit, what message do you have for the collective here, guidance for the collective for the full moon? In Aquarius energy, full moon and Aquarius, surrender. Wow, and detachment. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. If the, and you are extraordinary and allowing and courage and freedom, receiving. Oh my goodness, oh this is a lot, right? But this is pretty much what this energy is that we're talking about. But the but the first cards that came out here is um, detachment and surrender. That's this energy, okay? That's this energy. Detachment and surrender. Detachment. That is exactly Aquarius energy. That's this. The, the star, the full moon, and um, the queen of cups. It's exactly surrender to the moon, right? <laughs> surrender to the divine. That's what this energy is about. Surrender to the divine is this here, okay? So Aquarius energy is all about detaching from the outcome. And I've been saying that uh, since the beginning. With detach, detachment, right? Actually, I'm going to read surrender first because surrender jumped out first. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control. Why can't I read this? The ego learns what's, what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe. Yeah. Sometimes learning to surrender, I'm going to read it again. Okay, my eyes are really weak right now, you guys. Um, sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what, what's hardest, to stop trying to control the whole universe, right? Which we saw that a lot with the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Wands, okay? 
So um, you're being asked to surrender to the to the moon, surrender to the divine, detach yourself from the outcome, detach yourself from knowing, need, from needing to know. There's a reason I'm not, I'm not guided to po to post a lot of readings. I post readings when I'm guided to do it. You know, there's there's something about you know binge watching readings and watching readings 24 seven and nonstop that keeps you feeling stuck keeps you unable to move on keep makes you feel codependent it can be addicting you know and and that's not law of attraction manifestation it that's extremes energy okay and it can really hinder your own intuition um it it, it keeps you also from um it distorts your perception and and it messes up your intuitive you know when you know when it's time to watch your reading and 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 if you're overdoing it if you're doing it too much and cross watching your person's sign non-stop all of that too much it's too much it keeps you feeling down and stuck okay so and it keeps you from moving on it detach detach we have here with detachment you finally feel whole inside yeah see yes <laughs> Reach the attachment, you finally feel whole inside. Okay, yes, that's when everything starts to move and come in. Um, that other stuff makes you feel like this, ungrounded, ungrounded. If we're binge watching stuff, right? If we're not letting go, okay, I dropped a card here. Makes you feel tired, drained, and ungrounded. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside, with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire ironically that's often when it's fulfilled yeah when you surrender and you release your attachment with let go and surrender meditation it's going to come in <laughs> it's going to come in my loves and then you have allowing which is her energy courage which is this energy of trying taking action right let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown and then we have allowing which is this energy of surrender radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment so 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 what's needed can come next okay and that's what's going to be very freedom and remember that you are extraordinary and be in this queen of cups energy of receiving here okay every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan to trust my inner guidance trust your inner guidance at this time you're highly highly intuitive okay the universe is guiding you have faith this is all about faith right now and freedom. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from its bonds. Free yourself. Air energy. It's time to free yourself from this. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from this bonds. Boom. Say it. Decide it say it out loud write it with blue ink and then off you go the universe is going to come and match you okay and um then we have extraordinary this is this is ex all of this that came out from this these oracles is exactly this reading here there's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored believe it feel it know it believe it whoever this is that's shy that feels intimidated it feels awkward it feels nervous to go ahead and take this step spirit wants you to know that you are extraordinary shine your light show the world the real you right it's time to shine like the star that you are step into aquarius energy of stardom of stardust you are a star boy right <laughs> a star girl okay <laughs> all right um let's get to this message and then we'll wrap up this is my usual time frame, you guys. I'm gonna stop pretending that I can do a short reading. When I'm when it's meant for me to do a short reading, I'll do a short reading. But in the meantime, like I said, I don't post a lot because I like to post my readings with purpose, um, for a purpose, with purpose. When I'm guided to, when I have messages to deliver, and and at the same time, I'm also um, fully booked with personal readings. So I I put a lot of energy into that. And that with um, balancing out my personal life, that is still something I'm working on as well. Refilling my cup, right? So I can be 100% for you guys. Give you guys 100% of me, I meant. All right, Spirit. One message for the collective. I love this deck. 
even use this set. Message for the, and then I'll pull a fortune card and then that, maybe I'll pull a romance angels. Like I said, I don't often post readings, so when I do, I like to give you guys a lot of messages. So you guys are still with me. I am going to pull a love message. Spirit, a message for the collective for the full moon in Aquarius. Loneliness. Loneliness and doubt. Okay. Yeah. See, we can't manifest from this place. Okay. Let's. Sh this is a way of thinking. We got to shift out of this energy. Okay. So a lot of you guys have been in hermit mode for a long time, right? Um, doing this inner inner healing work. There's a lot of you're healing on a deep soul level and the subconscious level, healing a lot of things. Okay, this is like dark night of the soul, going into the shadow, doing shadow work. This is complete healing work. That's why this full moon in Aquarius is so beautiful, right? Because it's like deep healing on a deep subconscious soul level. It's about discovering your true authenticity, your true authentic self, right? Rebirth energy, okay? So this takes a long time. So a lot of you guys have been in the void or been in the in between worlds or been in the dark night of the soul for a long time, okay? So um, depression energy, doing this in deep in the underworld, right? Uh, Pluto energy, doing this deep, deep, deep transformative healing work. And look at how you guys are coming up and out of it. Completely in the energy of wholeness, oneness, and unconditional love, right? What an incredible energy. Healing the for the masculines, this is you healing the feminine energy within you. Mother healing also, right? Can, we saw a lot of that cancer energy here. And in the Monology deck, we saw, you know, you and your loved ones are safe, which is cancer energy, right? So a lot of childhood wounding and a lot of mother healing was available at this time for you. So um, loneliness, it's a, it is a way of thinking. So you're not alone. Your ancestors stand beside you. You have your community, your tribe, right? Um, God, <laughs> whoever you pray to, the angels, um, you're not alone. You're, you're never alone, okay? So it is a state of mind. When you stop fearing your aloneness, you stop settling for less than, than you deserve. May I embrace and love my solitude. And that's when kindred spirits can finally come. Yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be an energy of here coming together with people. Union energy, celebration energy here, okay? There is more than one coming towards you even if that's the case right we have one on this end one on this end coming to reunite this could be either you and someone else coming together to reunite or you and someone else coming together to reunite okay there's communication that's going to happen here okay but somebody i feel like somebody needs to take action for this to happen one more here spirit for the collective please for the full moon in aquarius health a lot yeah your health is improving your health is getting a lot better here make it gods and trust is at the bottom of the deck health allow me divine to be allow me divine to be tender and accepting of my body no matter what ailments i may have may i always know it's doing the best that it can help me to be a loving ally and friend to this sacred form i feel like with with the sun card that your health health is definitely going to be improved here. If you guys, uh, for some of you guys, haven't been feeling very well, you know, like I said, I'm going to have a, a little surgical little procedure tomorrow morning. And um, other than that, you know, I'm I'm in tip chop shape, perfect health here, and have been for a long time. But for a lot of us, it's mental health, right? For a lot of us, it's emotional health. For a lot of us, it's not just physical health. But the sun being here tells me that. You're, this is a recovery energy. This is an energy of health, vitality being restored, okay? Your health, it, you're, you're going to feel better, okay, very, very soon. So put, get yourself in that mindset already, okay? So, um, yeah, and the star card also says that because the star, the star card is healing, is a card of healing and recovery as well. Something is definitely about to be revealed for you guys here um, regarding love. Regarding love. The second you guys detach and surrender and let go. Spirit, what is the fortune here for the collective? 
for the full moon in Aquarius. Luck. Wow, I just, I just, wow. Yes, spirit. Um, so luck, egos here. Eagles, eagles. So um, I talked about this in the post that I posted throughout the day today on Instagram at infinite underscore love 1111. I'll post a link to that in the description box as well. Luck is on your side. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. You are right. Continue to be in this positive mindset. The star card here, the sun, the chariot, very positive, optimistic mindset, okay, about everything that's coming. Then you have another eagle. You've got an eagle here, which is very significant. So, so for some of you guys, this may be your spirit animal, maybe your totem animal. You may be seeing this a lot, right? Eagle, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. And remember I said mountains are being moved, mountain card know that you are protected as you face challenges but remain cautious mountains and look at that there are mountains in this card as well mountains are being moved finally <laughs> what else here one more for the collective for the full moon and aquarius you're soaring to new heights here dragonfly have confidence during this time of great joy the sun card renewal renewal and connection to spirit Renewal and connection to spirit. Strong, strong, strong message about that. And Phoenix, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Woo! I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> we got the eagle and the phoenix. You guys are rising and soaring so high, right? Being renewed here after a period of crisis. I don't know what I'm going to... I thought I was going to... Um, Call this reading something else. Now, now I think I'm going to. Um, this is what you call renewal here after a period of crisis. We saw the nine of wands. We saw the nine of swords. The three of swords here, right? This this full moon in Aquarius is ushering in incredible rebirth energy. Okay, so um, wow. This made, me, this made me a little emotional right now because I've been going through, you know, changes like you guys, right? And I, like I said, today is the first day I actually feel, you know, a lot more free, not, not so weighed down. And I think it's because of transitioning between Cancer and Leo energy here. Spirit, what, um, what's coming in here for the collective regarding love? What is the full moon in Aquarius bringing in here for the collective? the full moon in Aquarius bringing in for the collective spirit your health is improving my loves yeah look at that with the phoenix rising absolutely absolutely spirit what message here do you have what guidance do you have for the collective what's coming in here for the collective regarding love for the full moon yeah, Aquarius is a friendship sign, right? So um, let people in here, three of cups to help you, okay? People that you can trust, soul family, soul tribe, right? People that are on your same wavelength, vibration, that sees eye to eye with you, okay? And let your close family and friends help you at this time. Ask for and accept support from others. Ask for help. Don't be shy. Um, remember extreme independence is a trauma response, right? Um, people are going to, the divine sends you support, help opportunities and blessings through people. And if you don't let them in to help you, okay, what's going to happen is you're blocking your flow of abundance. Your gifts can't come in, right? Your blessings. There's a lot of people here, you know, so, um, you know, with these court cards, so with the knights and the page and the, and the queen here. So let people help you. Let them be your support system at this time. Let people in. You don't have to feel alone. You're not alone, okay? Um, and also what I'm getting here is the divine is going to send you help. So open yourself up to receive, which I guess was this card here, receiving, right? Receive. Open yourself up to receive because that's you in acceptance and allowing and surrendering and freedom energy as well, okay? Freedom is yours if you want it to be. And then we have soulmate at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're going to get help, a leg up and support 
coming in from the divine if you ask for help just let them help you pride and ego will get will will create blocks and if you also don't if you say no to people when they're trying to help you you're blocking their flow of, of abundance and good karma coming to them as well okay all right so what else for the collective here for the full moon in aquarius please worth waiting for yeah you guys are a little restless and impatient when it comes to this how long you waited right <laughs> if you were waiting uh, you shouldn't have been you should have been working on yourself working on your business on your abundance doing your healing work but i i know what you mean like when spirit says um not settling for less than what you deserve so you didn't have you didn't have to be alone right you probably had options, you know, but it really wasn't what you were been manifesting and praying for. So you're like, no, I'd rather be by myself and alone here working on myself, working on my business, working on my abundance until the divine brings me my sacred divine person, right? Counterpart here. That's the soulmate. So, um, but it looks to me like it's going to be the, the wait is over or very close to being over. There's movement here. I've been talking a lot, a lot about this in the previous readings. Um, the Aquarius readings, if you guys watch that, um, that there is um, going to be movement here around. I don't like giving a time frame because we're all in different cycles and timelines. But what I've been predicting for a while is going to be definitely before the end of this year, right? But because um, I see a celebration, so that normally holidays is when we celebrate, right? But also um, could be three months even, right? But what I'm getting here is... For the longest, I got Leo season around August even, okay? Um, but yeah, so worth waiting for. Meaning divine timing has been at work in your love life this entire time, okay? And I know that you guys feel it coming. And the more you feel it, it's like the more restless and anxious you get. The reason, it's not ready yet. Divine, The divine is in charge of this, not you, which we read here um the allowing energy was it this one? Oh, surrender sometimes learning to surrender can feel as though you're dying the ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe and detaching yourself from the outcome the more you detach the closer it is to you getting what you're wanting and there's going to be a heart to heart conversation regarding some kind of forgiveness regarding the past Three of Swords here, okay? Again, somebody's sorry. Somebody wants to apologize about something here. And this is somebody that you feel a true love connection with. Uh, but but it could, for some of you guys, it could just be somebody in your life, right? That you are close to, that hurt you deeply. Um, they want forgiveness. They learned from their mistakes. You've learned. They've learned. Everybody learned. And now it's time to finally release and heal the past so you can experience love in the present moment. And you're going to have a conversation about that very soon, okay? And it's and it's going to be the believe in the impossible energy, right? Better than what you hoped for or expected because it's going to be worth it, right? It's going to be bigger and better than you than what you had and what you thought and what you expected okay so release it beautiful 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 and true love is going to be an ending to a separation very soon somebody's going to make the effort all right my loves that's what i have for you i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i know i did because that's why i it lasted over an hour <laughs> all right you guys i'll talk to you guys soon thank you so much don't forget to do your meditations for the full moon and your rituals, okay? And you're surrendering and you're letting go, um, writing down everything you're releasing, surrendering and letting go, burning it under the full moon. Do your, do your full moon ritual bath, okay? And all of uh, your prayers, this is the time to surrender and meditate, okay? And ground your energy as well. This is beautiful, you guys. It really is. And I just hope that this reading gave you the healing, the clarity, the, the understanding and the insight that you were looking for, okay? To, to, to relax into these changes, okay? And um, trust your intuition and your guidance from spirit. Take heed to the messages, okay? I love you all so much, and I will talk to you guys real soon. Take care, namaste. Mwah! Much love.